What is up guys, Wagi here and I'm coming back at you with another Minecraft Pocket Edition video and today's video I'm going to show you guys how to put maps onto your Pocket Edition. This is a brand new way that just came out. It came out with 0.11.0 so you're going to need 0.11.0 and the reason I'm doing this brand new video of how to put a map onto your Pocket Edition is because this way is actually an easier, simpler, um, faster uh, method of putting a map onto Minecraft Pocket Edition on your iOS device. Um, this is not for Android. Android, you can still do the same thing, just put the map in. Uh, iOS, it's a little bit different. Um, you're going to need a computer or a Mac. I'm using Mac, as you can see I'm on a Mac. It doesn't really matter which you use, you just need a computer or a Mac. But I happen to be on the Mac, so um, this is a Mac. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing on a computer. You just, it's just gonna be, it's just going to look different, but it's the same thing on the computer. So I'm on a Mac, um, and you're going to need iTunes. Obviously, you, you're supposed to have iTunes because you have an iOS device, so you already have that pretty much. And you're also going to need the map you're going to be putting onto your Pocket Edition. So here's my map. Uh, this is actually the Invisible Parkour map. I'll have links down in the description if you want to um, check out maps. These links have maps in them, so um, just be sure to check the description out. Um, and yeah, that's it. You just need the map, you just need iTunes, and you just need Minecraft Pocket Edition 0 0.11.0. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to need to have the map in like a folder you, you're going to have access to. So here's my downloads folder. Um, here's the map, and you also want to make sure your map is in a folder and inside this folder you want to have the map in it you don't want to have this so let's say we have map so let's say somebody gives you the download link and the the folder is map and inside this folder contains the actual map you um, you don't want this you want to take the actual map the one that has the stuff in it the actual stuff in it um, and you want to take it out of that out of this folder um, it could be called anything actually so I um, just want to have the map folder by itself so inside this folder we have the map stuff um, if you leave the folder inside that folder it's not gonna detect it as a map and it's it's not gonna work so you want to have this folder by itself and it's uh, the map stuff inside of it so uh, once you have it like that it should be pretty simple to do um, open up iTunes so I'm gonna open up iTunes just like this um, you obviously want to have your device connected to iTunes like this. So here's my iPhone connected to iTunes. Um, and you want to go over here to the left side where it says summary, apps, music, and all that. Uh, you want to click on apps. So here's apps. Here's your home screens. Here's your newsstand. Um, you want to go all the way down. So just scroll all the way down to where it says file sharing right here at the bottom. And you're going to see some apps. You're going to see a list of apps. You're gonna find Minecraft Pocket Edition inside this list of apps right here. So here's Minecraft Pocket Edition. And inside here, you should see two folders. You can see internal, and then you're also going to see games. You wanna you wanna focus on this one. Whoops. You wanna focus on this one right here. So from here you're gonna click save to at the bottom. Uh you don't wanna click, you don't wanna accidentally click sync. Um it's not gonna do anything. Well it's gonna sync, but um, you want to click save to because it's just like they're close to each other so save to and it's going to open up this thing right here and then you can just click save it to you, you can save it to anywhere but I'm just going to save it to my downloads folder so save to and then you're going to go back to that folder where you saved it to so here's my map I downloaded it and then here's the thing I saved the folder I saved so you want to open up no actually you just want to drag this your map into games open up games and you're gonna drag your map once again into combat mojang open up that folder and you're gonna drag your custom map into minecraft worlds and it should be just like this inside the minecraft worlds folder you're gonna see um maps that you already have created they're gonna have these weird names um with like letter capital letters and stuff they're just they're all gonna have weird names um so you're gonna put the map inside this folder right here. So once you have it, here's the map that was already there. And then here's the custom map that I just put in there. So you're gonna go all the way back. And then you can either do this two ways. 
You can do this a long way or you can literally do this in a quick drag and drop. So you're gonna go all the way back to where it says games, the folder, and then you're gonna just drag it, click and drag, and then drop it right here where you click save to. You're gonna drop it, drop it into this box. So you're gonna drop it like that. As it's gonna pop up, you wanna replace it. Um, obviously you're going to replace it, so click replace and that's it. Or you could do it the long way, just click add and then click games and then click add again at the bottom and then just replace it once again just like that. So two ways, you can either drag and drop which is way easy or you can just click add and then do the same thing. So that is it, that's all you need to do. Um, the map is on your game already so let's go ahead and go over and switch on to Minecraft Pog Edition to show you guys the map. Alright so we switched on over to the Minecraft Pog Edition. Uh, we're just going to tap play and then your map should show up at the bottom right there. It says here's the world I already had. This one. I already had this one. And here's the map uh, you just put in or I just put in. And here it is. We're playing the map. No jailbreak needed. All you need is iTunes and Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.11.0 .0 and above. And that's that's really it. That's how you play the custom map. The map fully works. You can play around with it. And it's really that easy and simple. So that's it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Drop a like below. It's really going to help out a lot. So that is all. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.